So if somebody asks you, are you okay? And you say, I'm fine. By definition, you're a liar. You're not who you say you are. You're not lying to yourself. Your, yourself gets it. Yourself's like, you're not okay. And yourself knows that the only way you're gonna get help is if you tell them that we're not okay. So your brain is like, hey, tell them the truth. That's the only way that we're gonna get help. But you keep saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And you're creating different people. You're a different person around every group of people you're around. I said it during the presentation. Some of you, this is school you. There's certain things that you have to remember. I have to be this certain way when I'm around this group of friends. Those are lies. It's not who you really are. That's why you have triggers and that's why you have anxiety when you're around these people. You know why? Because lies cause us physical harm. There are physical repercussions to lies. That's why lie detectors work. Because when you lie, stress hormones are released throughout your body. Cortisol levels go up, norepinephrine, adrenaline starts pumping. You start to go into panic mode, fight or flight mode, right? You can't live in this constant stress mode. Stress is the number one killer in the world. So when you lie and you live in that lie, your brain's definitely gonna send you the thought like, hey, get rid of these lies because they're causing us physical harm. Lies are a threat to the truth. Kill the lies, get rid of these lies. But when you're a kid and you haven't got to know yourself and you don't know the truth, and you don't know who you really are or truly how you feel because you haven't faced those feelings, you might take that thought, kill the lies, as kill myself because you put your identity in the lie.